Well, let's get to it. Top 10 weirdest things in the solar system, judged by me, Lee Billings. And I'm Mike Lemonick. We're going to group them into three categories. Uh, weird shapes, weird insides, and places like home, but a little bit weird. First object is this weird little moon called Pan that orbits Saturn inside the rings, and we got a glimpse of it recently with Cassini. We saw a little skirt of material around it. It makes it kind of look like a pierogi. Pierogi moon. Um, or a ravioli. I think it's more like a ravioli. I think you're just wrong about your food choices. We'll let the readers or the viewers decide. Well, we might find out whether or not it's one way or the other pretty soon, because it turns out there's two of these pierogi moons around Saturn. The other one's called Atlas, and Cassini's going to be looking at that one pretty soon, too. Maybe it'll have, you know, more of a ravioli look to it, that one. All right, all right. Well, on to the next uh, weird object. It's called Haumea, and it is shaped like a football. It spins once every four hours, and they think that it's the spinning that makes it have this weird elongated shape. Probably it was set spinning when it was hit by some large object in the distant past. Weird. Okay. So pierogi uh, moon, football moon. How about a rubber ducky shaped comet? Comet 67P Churishmov Jerishimenko. I think I butchered that. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. Yeah, but uh, it is shaped like a rubber ducky, and we know that because uh, ESA sent a spacecraft there, Rosetta, as well as a lander Philae. Both of them are actually on this comet now. It's got little uh, kind of geysers and plumes and landslides going all over it. Yeah. And then there's this. Nah, nothing in the solar system is this weird. Um, next weird object is, uh, or next set of weird objects is weird not because of shape, but because they are hot inside in a place where they have no right to be hot. I will demonstrate while talking with the paperclip as I flex it back and forth. Io is the first one we're going to talk about, and it was discovered when we first visited Jupiter a couple decades ago, and astronomers were amazed that there were volcanoes spewing sulfur onto its surface. Right. And it turns out that the uh, tidal forces from Jupiter are flexing the moon, and they make it hot inside, and that's what causes the volcanoes here. Hot. <laughs> that's actually hot. A little further out from Io is another moon of Jupiter called Europa. It's about the size of Earth's moon, and it's, since it's further out, the tidal forces aren't as intense, but they're still there, and they're enough to actually cause this thing not to erupt with volcanoes, but to have a deep liquid water ocean. More water in its ocean than on Earth, probably, in Earth's ocean. Pretty wild, pretty weird. But we're going to find out what's going on in that ocean. There are hints that there might be even the possibility of life. We're going to send some probes out there uh, in the next decade or so. Uh, to drill down and find out. And maybe when we find out about Europa, we'll find out about an even weirder icy ocean-bearing moon that's out at Saturn, Enceladus. Yes, um, Enceladus is uh, also being imaged by Cassini, and it's got geysers spewing out of the surface, water and ice. The weird part is that it's so small. And you can't imagine how it could even get all that tidal energy in it to heat it up enough to have that ocean. So we don't fully understand what's going on there. Maybe there's some other stuff. Really strange, really weird, you could say. Right, but the final weird category is places that are like home. With a twist. So back at Saturn, where Enceladus is spewing out geysers, we also have another moon called Titan, which is the size of Mercury. It's huge. And like Earth, it has a, a hydrological cycle, a methological cycle. It has ethane and methane uh, falling as rain, uh, pooling as seas and lakes, because it's so cold. And it's got, uh, but it's got a, uh, an atmosphere, which traps some heat, which kind of explains how all this stuff could be going on. Really, in a lot of ways, it is a mirror Earth, except it's around Saturn and very, very, very cold. Next weird home-like place is Venus, which is right next door. It's considered Earth's twin because it's almost the same mass as ours, uh, as our planet. It's uh, in an orbit that could sustain life in principle under the right conditions, but it's got very, very wrong conditions. You wouldn't want to live there. The runaway greenhouse has a crushing atmospheric pressure, temperature hot enough to melt lead or bake a pizza in a few seconds on the surface, and that's because of all the CO2 that's there. Uh, so basically, you'd think it'd be a lot like Earth, our, you know, our twin sister planet, goddess of love. It is literally the worst place to live in the solar system, probably. Okay, but the weirdest place, the weirdest place by far, let's be real, the weirdest place is Earth. I don't care what all these people say, it's familiar, to us, but it's really freaking weird, right? You've got plate tectonics, this thin skin of rock sliding around on the surface. You've got a whole surface ocean of water, weird. You've got a huge moon that really should make it a double planet system. Also very weird. Things we don't see anywhere else in the solar system, but the weirdest thing of all, life. Little tiny pieces of this planet that build other little tiny pieces and send them out into you know other planets, interstellar space. Uh, and some, really of those, weird. some of those things it sends out, we'll be visiting some of these weird objects we've been talking about. So that's it for today. I'm Mike Lemonick. 
I'm Lee Billings from Earth. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pan, Pan Atlas, Atlas Hamea. Comment 67P, Chermov, Jerishmanko. You say that part. Uh, uh, Io. Uh, Enceladus. No, Io. Europa. Europa. Enceladus. Enceladus. Titan. Titan. Venus. Venus. Earth. Earth. Yes.